you're going to be working around fuel here, so we want to take some basic safety precautions. Always work in a well-ventilated area free from any source of ignition. This includes incandescent shop lights and things like hot water heaters. As always when you are working on your vehicle, you should be wearing safety glasses, but now is a good time to get some chemical resistant gloves and wear them. You want the vehicle to be stone cold and depressurized. But most importantly, you want to have a properly rated and fully charged fire extinguisher handy and know how to use it. To replace the high pressure fuel pressure sensor, you will need to first safely raise and support the vehicle. Then you will need to perform a partial engine drop and remove the air box and throttle body. You will also need to remove the resonance tube and the bank 4 to 6 intake manifold indicated by the red arrow. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with all of those tasks. With everything removed, you can see the sensor on the right bank of the cylinders attached to the metal fuel rail, blue arrow. Squeeze in on the electrical connector, blue arrow, and pull it straight up and off the sensor. Use a 24 millimeter deep socket and remove the sensor. A small amount of fuel will spill out, so be prepared to catch it, blue arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. There is no o-ring on the sensor and never put any sort of Teflon tape or other substance on the thread of the sensor. You should not have to bleed the injector system, but you may expect it to run rough on initial startup while the air clears the system. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.